one video. Hey Jeremy, what are you doing today? I'm going flying. Woo, flying in this crazy looking thing right here. And uh, first time flying in one of these things? Yeah. Awesome, and who brought you out here today? My wife. What? <laughs> cool, all right. Uh, anybody you want to say hi to before we go? Never. My girls, Kyla and Morgan, hi. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go have some fun, all right? Yeah, let's Woo <laughs> There we go. And I ask you, are you good to go? I'm good to go. All right, let me give them a call. Chino Tower, Gyro 232, Papa Golf, holding short 26 right, left downwind departure at Lake Matthews. Gyro 232, Papa Golf, Chino Tower, cross, runway 26 right at Papa. Cross 26 right at Papa, to Papa Golf. So he is sending us to the other runway. Wow. Probably because we're making left traffic or? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, he'll call us back and probably say clear for takeoff. Charlie 2, Papa Golf. Left turn out to the lake is approved. Wind 2304, runway 26 left at Papa. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 26 left at Papa, and good for the left turn out uh, to Papa Golf. All right, so everything sounds good. Just is that, from, a, is that a real bird? That is. Uh, that's a hawk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if it was like a fake bird to scare other ones away or not. Uh, that's a real one. There's a bunch of hawks out here. Yeah, there are red-tailed hawks and regular ones, too, and I guess they pick up lots of varmints. Cool. Ground critter. Yeah. Okay, onto the runway we go. So the tower guys here know about my deal about uh, we get on the runway to spin up our rotor, takes us an extra 20 seconds or so. So the first thing we do is, remember, we have that thing on that brake mode. So I'm going to go on and go to flight mode. Okay. Now I do keep my hand on this thing because the stick will move around real freely. So okay. And then uh, I'm going to increase the throttle up to about 2,000 RPM. With my thumb, I'm going to push down on the pre-rotate button. It's that one right there. Okay. It grabs the blade and we'll start spinning it around. RPM drop? Uh, the one to the right. Yeah, RPM drop. But the rotor speed, though, to the right of that, that's the magic one. Okay. When 1905. So the takeoff is in four stages, and the stick will come back towards your lap, just so you know. So the first thing I do is I take my thumb off that button. So now it's free spinning. Bring the stick back, release the brakes, and then we start rolling. So I've tilted the blade all the way back now. Okay. Like you can't take your hands off of the helicopter one, can you? Right. <laughs> and now wind's blowing through it. Our rotor speed's increasing. At about 300 RPM, the nose lifts off the ground. Remember really? I told you, just like that. Yeah. And I'm going to add a little more power. Okay. And when this thing is ready, oh. it'll just lift off the ground. In three miles, 4,600 descending for Ontario. Just like that. 760. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll keep an eye All right, are you ready to go up? Yeah. Let's go up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're climbing 1,500 feet a minute. Wow. Where's your vertical airspeed? It's this little skinny purple line right oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. That was a shot. <laughs> like I said, this engine's a pretty pretty good sized engine on this guy. Yeah. So what what are we looking at here with the red? Oh, the oil pressure. Yeah, here's our oil pressure here. It's good. Okay. We have a loose connection on our ground on okay. that. That's okay. why, so don't, yeah, sorry about that. Don't pay attention no, to that. that's all right. Thing. I just I see red lights. It's like, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if this one comes on, then we'll be more concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be your your aircraft. <laughs> my aircraft. We're going to be setting it down somewhere. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull the power back just a okay. little bit. Ow. Oh. Okay, he gave us permission for the left turn, so again, I'm just going to tilt left here, and off we go. Ah. Oh. Getting that altitude right after the takeoff. <laughs> that's that's better than a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it feels so much more stable than flying in a fixed that, wing. That's what I think. And again, we can take the doors off. There's only two quick pins that pop the doors off. Flying yeah. out the doors is pretty fun too.
All right, so the uh, the push to talk is the trigger button here on the front. For I'll the let you go ahead and hold on to the stick there if you want. And I'll let you do a little bit of flying. We're going to head that away. Kind of get a feel for this thing. Do a little video. What? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. See our speed is picking up, so pull the stick back just okay. a smidge there. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Where do we want to keep the speed at? I don't know, 60, 70, 80 is fine, whatever. I okay. know, it's cool. These are in knots, so you have to add 10% per mile, so that's 77 miles an hour, 88, and okay. all that. I'm just trying to keep it trim with the... With the yes, with the string, so you know about the trim, that's yeah. right. That's our super accurate wind indicator there. Yeah. <laughs> Which works out good. See, there's a little bit of stick shake here that we're going to try to we'll work on that. Okay, what do we do? Oh, no, no, when we get back. Oh, I, mean, okay. I'm gonna, I, like, I like playing with these things to see if I can get it down to zero, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay. Wind variable three. Variable three. Well, we're going to continue climbing up a little bit, just going to go up to 2,000 feet. So to climb, okay. again, you think it's stick back, that actually slows us down. Yeah. It's add just a smidge of power. Okay. Our best climbing speed is around 60. Okay, so keep it around. Yeah. Direction 2500 indicator to Cessna, and there's uh, multiple targets south of them in the practice area maneuvering between 4800 and 3400. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks, bye. See you. Long easy to Lima <laughs> Echo, left turnout approved. All right, let's go over to this other frequency. Okay, so I was explaining about uh, stuff this thing will do. So if I pull the power back a little bit, obviously, the first thing is if we lose power totally. We're already in auto rotation, <laughs> so yeah. nothing really happens, yeah. you know. <laughs> you can see our airspeed drops down, but we don't really go anywhere. The other thing is that we can't officially hover like a helicopter, yeah. but I can do a pretty good impersonation. If you look to the side, we can kind of stop in midair. Wow. And then uh, this is something that a helicopter won't do, uh, is do a sharp turn oh, like this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, nothing to it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and we lost no altitude on that either. Okay. <laughs> wow, I've seen that on video. <laughs> it's different when it's when it's actually oh, happening. Oh uh, man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the fact that we everything can go wrong, we could lose the engine and all this stuff, and we would pedal down and we could land in an area the size of a tennis court. Oh yeah, we got, I, we yeah, got a track million, like, million, fields. million yeah. thing. We yeah. land zero to five feet. We land like a helicopter, so yeah. uh, that's why I really like about these things. Oh, you yeah. know, they, I, I know exactly where I'm at. It's just the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Auburndale Middle School right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably know this area a lot better than I do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the airport's off. It should be behind us about yeah. five o'clock, six o'clock, maybe now. Seven is the Corona Airport. Okay. And 121.6 is the ground control for Chino. And 118.5 is the tower. What's the uh, what's the frequency for just like general like you would go to if you're just flying out? Uh, 122.75. Okay, 122.75. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I didn't know about that, 123. Yeah, it's on the aviation maps. It says, hey, if you're flying around Lake Matthews, get on this frequency. <laughs> and we're like, okay. Is that because it's a uh, reservoir or? Uh, it's just this area. A lot of There's a lot of flight training that goes on over here for some reason. So okay. uh, everyone, it's, they just, the FAA stuck it on a map. Like, hey, everyone talk on this frequency. That makes sense considering there's no houses. They'd have to worry about really disturbing anybody. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I do like, because, you know, no boats on the lake, no people out here in the water, so yeah. we can kind of do what we want out here and, and not be pissing anybody off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to say we landed over here. Matthew traffic, Cessna 172 Romeo Delta, 3,500 over the 15 in the land, so we're going to be following the 15 uh, north back to Corona. Like oh, so they're heading back to Corona anyway. Okay. Yeah, they're over there, I guess. Yeah. About uh, 1,000 feet above us. Matthew's traffic says 88 Delta, we're just uh, crossing the 15. Eastbound, uh, just south of the field, 3500 Lake Matthews. 3500, we're down here at 1800, so we don't need to worry about that guy either. So, for gyro gyroplanes, what is your standard altitude you fly AGL? Uh, you know, you have to be um, over condensed uh, population. You have to be a thousand feet above the ground. Over non-congested uh, area, it's kind of up to you. Uh, you can be at as long as you can safely make a landing. That's the minimum altitude, and we can land anywhere around here. Um, yeah, so that, that's basically the rules. A general one is 500 feet is pretty pretty reasonable. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. I just, I knew the helicopters, we always were 500 EGL. Yeah. Because he's like, in case of an engine fire, yeah. I gotta get to the ground fast. Sure, so. sure. But again, unlike your buddy, he has to get an auto rotation, and we don't. Yeah. We just like would fly down to the ground, you know. Yeah. 4,500 will be doing bit over here. Like fancy. Now, there is a family of bald eagles over here on this side. I've seen them a couple of times. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can find them again. Pretty cool. All right, we're looking. We're the southwest shore. Yeah, the inside. Again, Lake Matthews traffic, yellow gyrocopter. We're over on the east side of the lake. We're down low, 1,800 feet, to orbiting the lake clockwise. Lake Matthews. Lake Matthews, Jabs 48, Southfield, 2,500, North Barn, back towards Riverside. Last call, Lake Matthews. Lake Matthews, Jabs 73, is over the east side of the lake, 4,000 feet, just circling Lake Matthews. All those guys are way too high for us. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take us down here a little bit. they got to be jealous. Do right? a couple maneuvers. So you can help me if you do see a big bird coming at me that I don't see, please let me know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think we have like a mutual interest in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the only trick about flying low is you got to pick your speed up just a little bit, just so you have that energy to be able to get out of situations if you need to. Yep. Like these little vents work, huh? They don't work unless that's for the heater, actually. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to do a little turn, so you know. Wow. <laughs> wow, the water is really low. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. I think you say it's really blue. No, it's really low. <laughs> All right, got some trees coming. Probably don't want to hit those, I guess. Oh my God, this is awesome. Romeo Delta over the Corona Foothill, 2,500, heading back to Corona Last Call. I had no idea this water, this waterway oh, was up. It just comes up out of the ground over there too, somewhere. Really? All right, again, uh, we can turn pretty sure I'm gonna give us a sharp turn to the left. We're just gonna pull the power off a little bit. We can't stall because it doesn't, we can't do that. So I'm just gonna spin us around here. Oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wow. Oh, that's so much fun. Wow. Yeah, I like I like you flying. It's more fun. Just <laughs> <laughs> to check it out. I'm trying, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to concentrate. I keep it in trim. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Like something just. I'm like watching my airspeed, keep it in trim. I'm like, oh man, I don't even get this. Oh, this is so much fun. This is the Star Wars trench run right here. Oh, I know. Right? <laughs> We're gonna make a left turn. Just say nope. Okay. <laughs> oh man. It's like a fighter jet off. <laughs> Not that I've ever been in one, but. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, those uh, rudder turns are awesome. Yeah, yeah, they just, uh, this thing can just spin around. 
Another good thing about these on takeoff, too, it's the same thing like I'm sure you've heard of the airplane, the impossible turn when they try to turn back to the runway when they lose an engine. Yeah. But um, this can do the impossible turn. So if we're at the end of the runway at 100 to 150 feet and we lose the engine, I can spin it around and come back in and land back on the runway. Whereas an airplane will lose altitude so much that they'll usually crash. What's your effectiveness uh, landing with a tailwind? It's not great. I mean, you could you could do it, but you're gonna have you're gonna be hauling ass down the runway. Okay. And uh, you want to slow this thing down for landing, and with a tailwind, you can't do it. So they don't recommend the, the tailwind stuff for landing. But in an emergency. In an emergency, you can yeah, yeah do whatever you need to do to survive. So of course. On a landing, you want to keep it around what 55? I go down to 20 on the landing. Well, oh. Okay. You know, 60 to approach. Okay. And then okay. once I get to the ground, I just keep slowing it down until we stop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Because they were talking through some of the landings on some of the other uh, videos. Yeah. 55 knots on, on final. 55 on land to get, get to a, the ground. bird right there. Uh, I will turn. I'll just do a little turn right here. Just keep out of the way of the bird. Wow, that's awesome. Still there. Traffic jump number three. Yeah, it is, is, is a bird, okay. Over the northeast side of the lake. Descending from 4,000 down to 3,000, then heading back to Riverside. Final call, Matthew. But that's why I love these things. Again, you oh. lose your engine right now, no big deal. We'd pick a spot on the ground, we'd come down, we'd pull the stick back like this, and we'd just stop our oh motion. Oh my god. And, and we just, just sat on the ground, you know. Over the good square, it's headed one another bird right there. Yeah. Maneuvers, Lake Matthews. Above us now. Lake Matthews traffic joke. Wow. 38 is 5,200. I, I got to get my my legs back. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. The sea legs. Oh, yeah. Been, it's been so long since I've flown it. And... Lake Matthews traffic, white, blue, arrow, 49006, Juliet's climbing through 3,000. What? Uh, sorry, uh, what? Uh, the 1591 interchange. Yeah, usually this, the water level's up on the on the concrete there. So it's really? definitely way down. We've got a lot of birds over here on the right, on oh, the water. Yeah, I see them. We'll just kind of. We'll go over here by the freeway, not try not to scare the cars too much. Yeah. Big yellow egg flying at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Hey, there go the birds. A little flying action. Lake Matthews traffic, yellow tower copters back on the west side of the lake again, 1,800, we're departing to the west, last call, Lake Matthews. Well, you know all the stuff on the helicopter, so the, the deal with that, the thing that I worry most about in these things is flying low is power lines, you know? Yeah. Because you just can't see those suckers, nah, you know? there's some right there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, the first time I came out here, I was all goofing around this area. I was trying to go fly down this little valley kind of low, and then I said, oh, crap, there's a pole there and a pole over there, so you yeah. can't even hardly see those lines across uh -huh. there, though. So, yeah, they just teach you really research an area before you start flying low. Because you just see that all of a sudden it'd be like, bink, you know. Yeah, I think what, what my, what my. Same own, thing with a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. one yeah. thing my old instructor was like, you never go below the peaks of mountains about in short little valleys like this. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then if you see a power line, you cross at the pole because that way you at least know how high it is. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, you're at the highest point. Right. Yeah, we would do, we would do confined, or we do pinnacle landings on a. All right. So uh, there's nobody waiting in this. I'm going to show you another little trick here. Okay. Yeah, this is so much fun. So this is a shorter runway, huh? It is a shorter one. That one's 7,000 feet long. It's a huge runway. This one's 5,000, so, I mean, that you can land a jumbo jet on the left one there. Well, you'll say, they got some pretty good-sized jets. They do, there. they do. Okay, if we were in a normal airplane, I'd say we're probably a little high for the runway, would yeah. you say? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely high. I'd say that, too. The but for us, is, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> the tower's probably like, he's a little high. No, he knows what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all I do is I just take the power off, pull back on the stick, and we just kind of stop right here. Three ones are above. <laughs> oh, this is awesome.
And we're gonna do this whole landing with no power whatsoever. So oh, wow. So we're coming down now. We're actually backing up a little bit. So I'm gonna put the nose down. Is that because of wind or is it? Yeah, the wind's pushing us backwards. And whenever we get uh, down to the area I wanna be at, you know, for the, for the landing, I'm just gonna see our airspeed's about 20 here. I'm just gonna put the nose down, which will pick our airspeed back up. Again, about <laughs> 60 is about good. I'm gonna do all this with no power. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so when we get to the ground, I pull the stick back. We're just oh. gonna fly down there. And then when we wanna set the wheels on the ground, we just kinda so slowly put the wheels on the ground. <laughs> So oh it's God. it's a piece of cake. It really is, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Kilo Tower Jones Niner Six on the Island Two Six right inside the Dewey. I I spent so much money in fuel. On the go. Always out here flying, man. Oh my God. Those those turns, man. Right turn Delta Copy Guy. I think I think if right turn Delta Two Ball Golf. Back on Square Nine Thirty is there, Mark? If I was on a. I, if I was in a fixed wing, I'd try to get a hold of somebody so we can get uh, out, of, uh, out of everybody's hair the best way possible. And duck on three nine three. Believe it or not, the number one accident is when people are pulling off the runway like this and that rotor spinning around. It's a big weight, and they try to whip off really fast. It's like running with a wheelbarrow, and you can you can tip over. As long as you do a normal just accident at a normal speed and don't do anything crazy, you'll never have an issue. Is there a rotor brake? There's. We put the brake on, so right now it's it's like a it's like a car brake. It's going burp 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 burp. It's slowing the blade down. Yeah, but it still takes a lot of momentum, so it takes a bit of slow. Okay, Robin in Robinson at the handle. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, the okay. handle up here, and you pull on it, you break it, like, Thank you for pulsing on stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Before we see Lima, wind 2609 or altimeter 3029. All right, so we'll wait one second for the blade to slow down here. Clear the runway. Yeah. There we go. All right, we're going to go over to the ground control and tell them we want to go back to the hangar. Tail ground, gyro 232, Papa Golf, off 26, right back to Eagle's Nest 2. Check up to T32 Papa Golf, Chino Ground Taxi via Delta Mike. Delta Mike, two Papa Golf. We're on Delta, then Mike. And left on Mike, yeah. The door's out yet? Uh, yeah, if you want to open the door, you can. You look there. Well, congratulations, you Thank survived. You. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh, so much different than the. Yeah. <laughs>